Hello to everyone. We are going to perform an experiment on gray to binary converter of digital electronics. In gray to binary converter, we have four input and four output. Uh, gray, in gray code, what actually happen is that in the conjugated numbers, only one significant bit changes. Here you can see in the gray code, only one bit is changing one then this bit is changing then similarly this bit is changing only one bit is changing in the conjugative number this is a gray code system we have to convert this gray code to the binary system this is a truth table for gray code to binary output and these are the k map using those k map we will make a design logic design and we are going to verify this logic design using this truth table and this is our experiment or task so here we require the four input G, G0, Z1, Z2 and Z3 and four output which are the indicators and four input and three XOR gate. So going to the multisim place component for four input place the SPDD switches we have four input make a four copy first of all flip it horizontally make four copy give them the key different key to different switches a b c and finally d this key will be helpful in switching on and switching of the switches. Now, by pressing A, I can switch off the first switch and by pressing it again, I can switch it on. So now we are connect one terminal to VDD and another to ground base component. Sources. Ground. is component VCC. So connecting one terminal of E switch to the VCC and another terminal of E switch to the ground. This is another terminal connected to ground. So this will represent the four input which are the gray code inputs. Now we require four indicator for four output component. Go to indicators, place a proof. Make four copies, copy CTRL plus V, CTRL plus V, CTRL plus V. So these are the four copies. Now we require three XOR gates, this component. Go to TTL. Send for 86 is the IC number of XOR to input XOR gate. We require three number three. Now we are going to connect the circuit. So what is happening? G3 is directly connected to B3 output indicator. So connect G3 directly to the output. Now G2 is connected to one XOR. G2 is connected to one XOR. And it is also connected to G3, other terminal. One, two, G3. And it is connected to the output B, B2. Now third one is connected from G1. The G1 and
output from second is connected to this and finally it is connected to output v1 now it is connected to first one now output from here is connected to third one finally it is connected to final output here we have this is b not this is b1 this is b2 and finally this is b3 So this is B3. Similarly, give name to the input side. This is B0, B1, B2, and G0, G1, G2, and G3. Now we are going to verify the truth table. For input 0, 0, 0, 0, we get output 0, 0, 0, 0. So A, B, C, and D all are 0. Simulate it and run it. Oh, some problem here. Now we should connect it to this part. Now verifying the output. For 0, 0 input, we get 0, 0 output. Now keeping this 1, G0, we get output also 1. Keeping it zero. G not fun. So A one we get output at B not. We get output at B not. Now keeping G one and G not one, we will get output at B one. G not and G one. One we get output at B one. Similarly for third case we get if you put 0, 0, 1, 0, we will get 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0. We will get 1, 1. Add the P1, B0. Similarly, checking it for another case like for 15, when all are 1. 1, A, B, C and D are 1, we get output at B1 and B3. All are 1, we get output at B3 and B1. That is correct. Similarly, checking it for another case, suppose 1, 0, 1, 1, J2 is 0. J2 is 0. So this is 0, we get output at B0, B2 and B3. B0, B2 and B3, it is correct. Thank you for watching this video.